Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're fine. So today we're gonna do a new lesson, which is about how to say the right thing. So now let's take a look about the pictures. Look at the first picture. What do you observe? Yes, great. We have a boy and a police man. So what does the boy hold in his hand? Yes, great. He holds a map and he's talking to the police man. So maybe here he's talking with him or he's asking him about the way of the place since he has the map in his hand. Then the second picture, what do we have? Yes, we have two people a dentist and a girl so look at the girl what does she do she is pointing to her teeth which means she has a toothache okay and the last picture what do we have yes great we have a student and a teacher look at the student what does he do Yes, great. So he raised his hands in order to ask the teacher about something. Okay? So, in this exercise, which means exercise one, you have lesson. Okay? Listen and much then say. So now I'm going to say the expressions that you have and you you are going to write them in your papers so the first one we have my tooth hurts my tooth hurts so here is it picture one or picture two or picture three Bird. etymology okay then we write the correct number Number two, you have, excuse me, where is the movie theater? Okay, I repeat, excuse me, where is the movie theater? So here when we say the, the movie theater, which means it's like the cinema, it's the place where the films or the movies are shown. So also you see if is it one picture one or two or three and you write the correct number and the, the correct picture. The last expression so we have I'm sorry I don't understand okay I'm sorry I don't understand so which one here says that is it the boy who is with the policeman or the girl who she or who is with the dentist or the boy who is with the teacher okay so you write the correct answer now let's move to the second exercise so here if you pay attention we have the instruction look at the example draw your picture then write okay so look at the example what do we have we have a dentist 
and we have a boy so the boy is the boy is <coughs> pointing to his teeth which means he has a toothache okay and look at the expressions which he is writing here we have my tooth hurts okay then last expression what does the boy says he says I'm talking to a dentist so this is an example now in the other side you are going to write your own example and here I just try to do an example for you for example here I write I'm sorry I don't understand which means here you have the student with the teacher you're going to draw something like this okay then I say I'm talking to a teacher which means I'm in the classroom okay so for you you choose something and you write for example if you say my tooth hurts or I for example I have a headache if you say my tooth hurts you're going to say I'm talking to a dentist if you say uh, I have a headache you're going to say I'm talking to a doctor okay then if you write like what I already do here if you say I'm sorry I don't understand which means you say I'm talking to a teacher and so on we move to the last exercise which is in number three you have write the right thing in the speech bubble okay which means what is the correct answer that we're going to see here we have I'm sorry so what is the expression that is going to go with this answer and if you want to know this answer of course you're going to back to the first exercise okay you look at the expressions that you have in the first exercise and you try to finish the last one you have here my tooth hurts excuse me where is the movie theater I'm sorry I don't understand which means which one is the correct answer for exercise number three okay so for the new lesson we finish it now let's move to a brief revision about what you already learned so here you have the first instruction you have write the number review your lessons which means that we're going to do as I said a brief revision about all what you already learned so the first one you have spell and you have a free space which means is it four or five or as you like of numbers so words from lesson one you choose a number and you write it there then you say the words that you want so if you pay attention here we have the first picture what do we say <coughs> what do we see you see yes it's a cleaner okay so then you have taxi driver and you have office worker then you have yes it's a nurse then you have carpenter and you have sorry this one is not a nurse it's a dentist I forget yeah it's a dentist then you have here nurse pellet and you have a chef okay 
we move to exercise number two you have asked about is you choose the number that you want is it one or two or three or as many number you want people what does he do or then you are going to say he is for example a chef if you pay attention to the first one he is a chef the second one you're going to say she's a dentist number three he is a carpenter four he is a nurse five she's a taxi driver six she's a pilot okay and you have exercise number three so you have say the right say at the right about so you choose the number also that you want of people in exercise two then you're going to write this in your notebook for example you say he cooks dinner if you choose for example chef you're going to say he cooks dinner and if you choose for example dentist you're going to say she she do what what does she do so you can say for example she takes off a tooth then you have for example if you choose a taxi driver you're going to say she's driving or she drives she drives a taxi and if you choose pilot you're going to say she drives okay she drives an airplane so this is about exercise number three we move to exercise number four you have spell and you choose of course the name or the number of the words that you want so from the lesson four we already studied this which means uh, i think it's easy for you so if you pay attention to the first picture what do we have it's a what yes it's a uniform so how do we spell this you have u n i f o r m and you have the second picture you have gloves yes so how do we spell them we have g l o v e s okay and under this you have tie so how do you spell tie we have t i e next to them there is an overalls okay there is overalls so for the overalls how do you spell them we say l v e r a double l s and then you have the helmet you have h e l m e t the last one you have suit which means s u i t so this is for number four then you have the last exercise which is exercise five so you have say and write sentences about jobs and clothes in your notebook which means you're going to take your notebook then you write some sentences about jobs and clothes here is an example you have she's a cleaner 
she wears gloves okay if you want to talk for example about the pilot also you can say he's a pilot he wears uniform then if you want to talk about for example police uh, or a post officer or something like this you're going to say for example he's a let's say about the office worker for example you can say he's wearing a suit okay and for example if you choose firefighter you can say he's wearing gloves and helmet okay so it's up to the person that you want to talk about him and there you're going to mention the clothes that this person is wearing so for this lessons we finished them i hope it's clear for you so if you have any question or any comment you are welcome in my <coughs> private box in the whatsapp of course so and as i already say to you and each time please try to revise your lessons okay don't be lazy because the most of you don't revise so you are not in a holiday which means you have to try to do your efforts and motivate yourself okay to do your exercises don't just sleep actually I don't know how to say to you this but you are this period you are so lazy just some of you who are participating then they say to me their answers but the others are not so please try to do your exercises I'm going to repeat you are not in a holiday even you are at home you have to work hard and you have to study if you don't understand something you are welcome you can ask me whenever you want don't say I'm not in the school so I cannot do this I you have to sleep you have to no you have not to do this and your parents have to motivate too <coughs> so for the pictures that we do we're going to or I'm going to take pictures for you then I send them to you in your whatsapp uh, so I hope to do your exercise as I say to you so thank you for watching